Hello, it's not Scott Manley here. In fact, it's OG. Welcome back to my channel. There was a little interest in my Minmus artifact short, which I posted the other day. The thing with that short is that it was the first short I'd ever posted that was not taken from a video of mine, a long format video. So I had no long format video to link to, and when people started asking about it, I felt a little bad, because there seems to be some sort of interest in the artifacts. I have visited the artifacts on Minmus and on Duna, and they are quite interesting. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you will see shortly. There are a few alien artifacts uh, littered around the Kerbal system. And some of them are, are really quite bizarre. And it, it seems to indicate that there was some sort of common ancestor to the Kerbal race and other races. This is speculation, of course. We don't have confirmation. Um in the form of these alien ancestors of ours and they've left these artifacts or monuments or whatever they are uh, the arch on the moon is probably the most famous of them but there are others in ksp2 quite a few monoliths around i'm not too interested in those but i thought maybe i'll do a series where i visit the other major artifacts and i'll show you how to get there how to find them all and then i will Yes, yeah, the word we need to stress, attempt to land near all of them and check them out a bit. So for this one, we're out at Minmus. And the Minmus artifact is the one that I posted in my short the other day. I will now show you, show you, I will show you, I will show you how to find it. And... Then we'll attempt the landing. Okay. Uh, what's the best way to do this? I am cheating somewhat in my orbit. You won't be so lucky. The first thing you have to do is to get to Minmus. Okay, I'm not going to show you how to do that. You can, I'm sure, build a rocket and hopefully get to Minmus. I know it's not so easy in KSP2. The thing you want to do then is to find these two dark patches here, yeah, the one on the right and the one on the left. And once you find the two dark patches, find the thing that looks sort of like a ghostly face with no mouth. Big eye, big eye, nosy thing. Then, from big eye on the right, head up until you find this crater. That's where we want to be, in the center of that crater. Now, I have already angled my orbit so that it passes directly over the crater. Of course, Minmus is going to turn now while I'm orbiting. But that'll leave me still relatively close to the crater, hopefully. And at the right orbital inclination if I really want to wait for the moon to do a full revolution. But I don't think I'll do that. I think I will just see sort of where I end up and then we will try the landing. Okay, so... Dark patch, dark patch, find the funny face thing, go up from the eye on the right hand side, in the middle of that little crater. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I messed that up pretty badly. I completely forgot how low my orbit was and I couldn't go faster than a four times time warp. So I've been brushing my teeth, it's still early in the morning here, and uh, playing outside with my dog. Uh, okay, time to try to land. Right, we haven't moved too far off the crater, so that's good. I'll do a little retrograde burn, and then I will 
just kind of fine tune the landing a bit and then try to land okay let's not burn too harshly harshly I'm sure that's not a thing for burning uh, good old Kerbal Space Program I'm sure that impact point is floating above the surface yeah a little um, looks like we need to burn a little bit anti-normal I think Okay, it looks like it's going the right way. Okay, teeny tiny burn. That looks good. Uh, I'm not so sure about this altitude. little bit of prograde I'd rather be too high than too low okay let's go with that why can I now accelerate to 10 to 4 why? why why didn't I have these options earlier why This game hates me. Uh, I'm just going to do a little save too. Because things don't always go according to plan. And then I'll quick save closer. Okay. Whoa, 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 what did I, whoa, why did I now burn retro? Why? Ah, uh, whatever. Idiot OG. I meant to speed up time. I went retro instead. Oh, uh, now the time warp limitations have got me again. All right, well, you enjoy a few seconds of quick post-production time warp. I'll sit here for another few minutes. It is worth noting that you can't spot these artifacts from this map view. You can only see them from the, uh, whatever you call this view, <laughs> the, the craft view thing. So I can zoom out enough, I should be able to peer into the crater and there it is. The mysterious alien artifact. A monument to civilization's past. And I'm probably going to crash into it if I don't alter my trajectory. How about this for a quick little self-imposed challenge? What if I can land on the artifact itself? Ooh. That would be a tricky one. I'm going to try it. Okay, I need to stop messing around and uh, start breaking. Funny to see the ground getting further away from me. But yeah, that's what happens when you go into a crater. And looking okay. I wish you could zoom this more. You need a landing view that shows you your landing trajectory. You need one of those things from KSP1 where there's a, a circle, like a, a bullseye target thing. That would be good. You need to see where you're going to impact. Uh, 
Uh, how shall we do this? Okay, let me find my little window on my capsule. Then I know which which way up is, or which way forward is. There we go, there's the window. Okay. Let's do this manually. Old school! Yeah! Armstrong style. You wing the landing at the last minute. All respect to that guy. Can you imagine landing on the moon for the first time? And you're like, no, nah, I don't like what the computer's doing. I'm going to take manual control. That guy was a legend. Still is a legend. As you can see, I created an apoapsis of over 10,000 meters, so I need to put a little end to that, because that would be bad. Uh, where am I going now? How can I have an Apo app of 8,000? How is that even possible? I'm going down. Uh, okay, that's a... Uh, still, even from sea level, it, it can't be. Developers, look, look at this. Just look at it. You are confusing me. You're making my landing difficult. Stop it, you naughty people. Ah, uh, now my rocket has spun into strange directions again. Where's my little window? I don't know. Nope, nope, not that way. Try again. Uh, that way. That'll do, that'll do. Yes, yes, hold that, hold that. Let's head that way a bit. A bit more. Okay, looking good. Luckily, the gravity on Minmus is so low that you can break pretty fast. Or well, maybe I should do that quick save. Oh, are we looking? We are looking good for a landing on the monument artifact thing. Come on, don't don't do that now. Don't don't do this to me. Man, this is not this is not perfect. Yes. That's it, OG. Keep your cool, man. Keep your cool. You've got this. I've totally got this. And if you're seeing the monument for the first time, bask in its glory. Give honor to the ancients. Okay, now we burn straight up. Almost there. Nice tip, use your shadow to see how far you are above the surface. It's the only thing you can, I don't want to say really trust because I don't really trust anything in this game. It's the most trustworthy indicator. Uh, if I land on a curvy part, will I fall over? Yeah, I'm falling over. Okay, so I need to relocate a little bit. Easy. Whoa, easy. Easy, girl. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. 
What? What? I didn't click you. Stop it. You're distracting me when I'm trying to land. Rockets are still firing to keep me level. But that's okay. I don't need to take off again. Whatever happens now, happens. So, here's Bob. Hey, the rocket stays keeping itself up. Wow. Oh, it's pushing itself over. Look at, it should be pushing itself over, right? But, okay, whatever. I will not pretend to understand the glitches of this game. Anyway, we're at the monument. How cool is this? The six, what are probably representing planets. And the big central character. And because this is Minmus, you can jump! Go, Bob, go! Fly! And you can see this is a Kerbalesque character, not a true Kerbal. Some sort of perhaps common ancestor, or perhaps this is one of the other races like the Kerbals which descended from the common ancestor. You can see he's got a uh, Dr. Zoidberg style mouth parts. Very unkerbally. And the short I recorded, I sat on his eyeball. And I've also got another unpublished one where I planted a flag right on top there. On top there. Maybe I'll try and make that into a short later today. But for now, I just wanted you to see this wonderful monument to the history of the system. Pretty cool, huh? I like the way these um, ancient artifacts all have dust on them on top. Very well done. A lot of attention to detail, so... Well done to the team creating these. They look very good. And in my next video, I will show you the one on Duna. And you'll see it looks just as good. Okay, so that is the Minimus, Minimus Ancient Alien Artifact Memorial thingy. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing Bob sacrifice his life to get there, because let's face it, I'm not sending him home after this. Probably don't even have the fuel for it. Ah, uh, maybe I do. I wonder if my rocket's still standing. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not for you to worry about. That's for Bob to worry about. It's not for me to worry about. I've got other Kerbals. Uh, thank you for joining me on this little trip to the Minmus Memorial today. I hope to see you soon, where we will visit the Duna Memorial next. Incidentally, I'm no longer interested in doing the weekly challenges, so if one of those comes up, I'm going to ignore it. I just, I don't like them at the moment. They are unrealistic in terms of the development of the game at the moment. They're just frustrating and I would rather do my own thing. If there's anything specific you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments and I will see if I can accommodate you. Until the next video, thank you for watching. It's been great having you. OG out.